Hey everyone, it's Emmy. So in today's video, I'm just going to be making some latex and cotton appliances. So I've just got a sheet of baking paper down so I can peel the appliances off when they're finished. And I've just got a chopstick, a butter knife, some global colors, liquid latex, which you can get from Riot in WA, and some cotton balls. So I've just like uncurled the cotton ball and flattened it out and I'm just putting down a layer, a layer of liquid latex and I'm just laying that flat on there and then smoothing down the edges with the butter knife and I'm going to kind of pinch this shape so that it's kind of flat like so it kind of tapers upwards so it's like got a flat base on it and then it goes to almost a point um, so what you're gonna see me make in this video is basically a pair of gills and what became a chess piece um, a scaled chess piece but was originally supposed to be a scaled headpiece uh, but I made it too big so it's a chess piece now but yeah, so I'm just taking a second piece of cotton now and just placing it under the first one. Pretty much doing exactly the same thing, just shaping it so that it's got a, a fat base on it and it tapers in um, to a point. Making sure I left about half a centimeter's gap between the two of them so that I could cut away uh, anything between them and have them act as like, or have them look as like, proper gills where like you know they go into the body you know the big thing you want to make sure you do with this is just make sure that the edges are really as thin as you can possibly make them um, because that'll just make it easier once you apply it onto your skin um, you don't want a thick edge that you have to try and you know spend hours trying to blend out and cover so with this second set, as you can see, I placed down a big blob of liquid latex and then put all three pieces of cotton on at the same time and tried to shape them. This ended up being way more difficult than the original way that I did it and I wish I had just stuck uh, with the same process. I don't know why I changed it. I think I was just being lazy. Um, but yeah, it's definitely easier to do one piece at a time and I'd probably do it in the reverse order then how I did it in the first place. So start with like the bottom gill and go up to the top gill. I'm just using my fingers to pinch it, make sure those are as thin as I can get them without making them kind of look funny. Um, I didn't want them to be too super thick. I wanted them to kind of look really natural, um, but I'm not trying to get them to look perfectly symmetrical. I want them to look, you know, natural. So not perfect. Um, so now I'm just laying down a thicker layer of cotton and latex to start my headpiece that then became a chest piece. I'm just like unrolling the cotton balls and kind of stretching them out a little bit and then just patting it down with the side of the knife and some liquid latex. The one thing I do wish I'd done with this was just put a layer of like tissue paper underneath so that there was just one flat layer of something rather than pieces. Uh, it made it really hard to remove them from the baking paper after they were dry. And here I'm just sketching out my design of the scales for the piece. Um, I don't know why at this point I didn't realise it would be too big for my head. I just didn't think about it at that time. So I think I kind of had the idea that I would almost sculpt them 
but I didn't put enough cotton and stuff to do that so I then started laying uh, pieces of cotton down to kind of try and make my own scales but again I should have started from the bottom and worked my way up so that they were tiered on top of each other um, but you know we all learn from our mistakes so next time I try and make a piece like this I know So I'm again just flattening everything down with the liquid latex, making sure everything's pretty drenched in it, and again trying to keep those edges as thin as I possibly can. I'm now taking some pieces and just rolling them between my fingertips to make kind of like a noodle and then I'm just shaping the scales with those little noodly bits. I found that this ended up being kind of easier since I kind of fucked up the piece from the start so this ended up giving it quite a cool look and yeah, this is a lot easier than the way I was doing it, but I also think that it would probably be easier to do it, like, you know, how I started doing it, but start from the smallest end of the piece to the bigger end of the piece so that they were tiered on top of each other. But yeah, at this point, so I'm just using the noodles to kind of map out scales and then I use the knife to smooth those edges down make sure they're really attached very well and kind of use the knife to to shape the scales a little bit better as well There you go, that's it mostly finished. I did fill some of the scales with um, cotton and then flatten it down a bit. Um, but yeah, just smooth out the edges with the knife, make sure all those little noodles are nice and smooth looking. They kind of look more like bumps, so like a growth under the skin, I don't know. But yeah, I'm surprised at this point that I didn't think Mm, this will be too big for my head. <laughs> I just kept going. So it did take about uh, 24 to 48 hours for these pieces to dry completely. Um, and then also to just kind of peel them off. The, the baking paper was a bit tricky. I should have put like something underneath, like a piece of tissue paper underneath of all the pieces so that they had a good base on them. Um, but yeah, definitely don't try to make this on the same day that you're going to be wearing the pieces because they need to dry. So I'm just taking some toilet paper and just separating the sheets so that they're nice and thin. And I just did like a layer of these over the top of the scale piece just to kind of, I don't know, cover up some some places that look like the scales weren't like joined or layered properly or whatever um, but I, f I feel like this gave it a really nice effect and just made it look more like it was all one piece kind of thing covered up all my mistakes if you will These are the appliances um, after I finished making them. So all I did for the scales to finish that, um, I just put some like sheets of toilet paper over them and then like covered it again in liquid latex. So it's kind of more of like a smoother kind of finish over the top. Um, and then I've just cut it out and 
tried to peel as much of the baking paper off as I could, but I probably should have put down a layer of toilet paper underneath, um, just so it wasn't kind of these bits and then pure liquid latex that was being stuck to the paper. So I think that's why it's so hard to get off. Um, but that's that. I'm thinking maybe this will be like a chest appliance or something. I probably should have made a, like, I, I was aiming for a forehead appliance, but I should have made it smaller. Um, so this is probably now going to be a chest piece. Um, I don't know if I'm going to pre-paint it or what I'm going to paint it, like colors I'm going to use, to be honest. Um, I just kind of felt like doing this. I'll probably put makeup on it on the day. And then these are the gills. So these came out quite well. I still have to powder them because they're kind of sticking to themselves. Um, but you can see there's still baking paper stuck on the back. But I just can't seem to get it off without actually ripping the piece apart. Um, so I definitely need to put a layer of like tissue paper or toilet paper down before you use the cotton buds on baking paper. Um, but yeah, so I just kind of cut off the excess paper and then cut into them and these will probably go on my neck I'm thinking um, probably just stick them onto my neck I don't care that they're not like symmetrical or identical or anything I kind of like that they're different kind of makes them look more organic um, and natural so I'm pretty happy with how these turned out this piece I wish I'd done a little bit better but I was kind of rushing to get it finished a little bit, but you know, practice makes perfect. I might try again. Um, I will still make cheek appliances as well. Um, maybe forehead, I don't know. I'm just gonna play, see what other things I can make for other videos. You know, the more I make, the better. Um, I don't know if I'll record me doing any others because I mean, this kind of recorded the whole process, so. Um, I guess it just depends if I'm going to make it be a really big video, but yeah, so that's, that's that all finished. I just have to powder it, or maybe I'll do a little bit more liquid latex over the top just because there's some um, uncovered tissue there, so I might just go over the edges, uh, just go over the whole thing again with one more layer of liquid latex. Um, and then I will just powder it. And yeah, I think these ones I'll, I'll leave. They're probably the best I'm gonna get. I don't really wanna try and put liquid latex over them and cut through those again. I think they're fine for now. Um, but yeah, just this piece I might play with. Um, the edges are quite thin. Like they'd be about as thick as a piece of paper, maybe a little bit thicker. Um, but it should be easy enough to stick on with spirit gum and, you know, pad down the edges with some more liquid latex and maybe some more tissue paper. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I hope it was really helpful. Um, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and follow me on instagram my instagram handle is just makeup by emmy um and yeah i hope to see you in my next one bye